Steaming Bean here, coming at you from the north on this beautiful December day, enjoying the, uh, the beautiful weather and looking at the winter wonderland around me, and uh, just grateful um, that it wasn't last week's weather where we were bombarded with... Um, Subarctic uh, temperatures, but right now it's it's beautiful outside. It's a great day. It's a great time to go for a nice walk in the northern village of Sandy Bay, and just thinking where I am on my weight loss journey, and um, where am I on my weight loss journey? I am dealing with um, a scale that has. Uh, whose battery is no longer functioning, so I just can't go out and get a new battery for the scale because there's no, um, no place in the village where I could buy a uh, battery for it. So that means that I have to wait till next weekend, next time I'm in Flin Flon, when I could uh, get a battery for the scale there. So that means I'm going on more than a week without recording my weight. Um, how's it going so far? I'm, I think, I feel like I'm succeeding. Uh, there's been moments where I've snacked um, on, you know, on foods I really should have been snacking on. I, for a couple of days this week, I did uh, indulge in having a granola bar and granola bars sound healthy, but they're full of calories, so I gotta watch out for that. Those Quaker granola bars will will keep up on you. Um, so, but uh, with Christmas around the corner, uh, with my grade threes, um, for our Christmas gifts that uh, every year the school has a Christmas gift day where we. Uh, do a craft or whatnot, and to be sent home. And uh, this year I decided, uh, instead of doing a craft, we would do some Christmas baking. So I brought all the grade three students in my classroom that I had that day, and we went to the home ec room that was reserved for us, and we made shortbread cookies, we made fudge, and we made... Um, squares so we were busy doing that and thank goodness that i had the help that i had um i i was gifted with um some of the local gals some of the local women that work at the school they came and gave me a hand and boy was i really um pleased that they did i'm not much of a baker um but I learned uh, from that day, and I practiced the handoff, you know? So the, the thing is, like, if you're coming to help, it's like, um, okay, you can help. Well, you can, uh, some of the cookies, well, some of the uh, sourdough cookies and squares um, will be set aside and given to those who helped. So the ladies were all rewarded with um, baking baked goods that they could take home and have. Um, some was put aside for me, but I'm happy to say that uh, willpower took over and I was managed, I, and I managed to do my, my handoff. The handoff is what I practice, uh, you know, during holiday times when temptation's in the way. And you're given some goodies, you just hand it off. And that's what I did. And, uh, Handed off uh, cookie dough to uh, to one of the helpers, and uh, that was a very popular move. <laughs> very grateful, and and that means I didn't have to um, be tempted with shortbreads. I love shortbread cookies, and I could eat a whole tray of them if I wanted to, and I've done that in the past. But uh, the handoff worked well. I just I just remind myself that uh, I have tasted 
eaten plenty of shortbreads in my life, so I know what it tastes like. So, um, this, just focusing on taking the dogs home after the walk, and I'm going to get ready for our uh, school staff annual potluck and gift exchange night, which is always fun. And myself, I'm bringing in two big bottles. Is it 1.5 liters or two liters? Anyways, two big bottles of Diet Coke. That's my contribution. And uh, that will allow me to have something to drink that's non-caloric. Nothing worse than drinking your calories, you know? Um, so drinking your calories is, you know, something that I'm avoiding. It's, it's just a waste if you're counting calories and you're being frugal with uh, what is going inside your, what, what you're going to digest. You might as well make it easy on you. Make, might as well make it the, um, you know, a healthy substance so that fills you up. And that means that if I'm going to drink something, I want it to be like uh, as many uh, calories as water. So, yeah, don't drink calories. So I basically gave up drinking beer. Uh, I was never a, a fan of hard liquor. And I was never much of a wine drinker. But uh, beer has gone to way to the dodo. Uh, I need a bottle of beer like I need a hole in the head. And... Uh, so I'll show up with my Diet Coke, uh, two big balls of Diet Coke at the uh, staff function. And I'm sure there'll be turkey there, so I'll have some protein and salad. I'm going to be a good boy, and I'm going to avoid my um, carbs. So there'll be no bread, no bread for this man. Um, I've had my carbs for today. I had rice for lunch with my chicken and my carrots. And of course I had carbs for part of my breakfast because every morning I have my oatmeal. And so I'm good to go. And this is my teacher. This is where I live. I'm not too worried about <laughs> being stalked. Like, if you want to come to Sandy Bay, be my guest. <laughs> but most YouTubers are kind of shy showing where they live. Or not most, but many YouTubers would be very shy showing people where they live. But when you live at the end of a highway in the northern village, well, that's that. And come look at my truck. This is... <laughs> This is my truck. Um, that's from just driving and mud getting frozen onto the back of your truck and enjoying uh, the view. I'm just looking out the river right now. So, this is the Churchill River, frozen. Uh, no ice shacks yet but pretty soon uh there's going to be ice shacks on the river with people going fishing anyways folks that's it in a nutshell take care of yourselves until next time give me a thumbs up if you don't like me give me a thumbs down don't forget to comment